Does your heart flutter just a little whenever you see a butterfly in your yard? Well, a lot of peoples do because not only are they beautiful, but they're pollinators, so they're beneficial to the yard. And Amy Dismus is gonna talk about some of the ways we can bring more butterflies into our garden. Well, it's kind of about like bringing in other animals to your garden. Yeah. You provide them food and shelter and water and they come. But specifically, it's kind of important for the butterflies. If you want the butterflies, the biggest issue is you gotta have the baby's food. Cause the butterflies come from the caterpillar. And I'll tell you, that is incredibly difficult for a gardener to watch their plants being eaten alive. Oh, yeah. You know, to have those butterflies. Right. But I always tell folks, plant two. One for the, the caterpillars and one for you. Okay. Especially if we have a food crop. So now what exactly do we have here? Because I, there's butterflies, there's bees, yeah. all of this pollination going on. Yeah, we've got, this has kind of become one of my, my favorites, the anise hyssops. And I've got a couple of different guys in here, but this is a brighter purple. And then we have the blue fortune, which is the standard. And they just love this. And then it's also an herbal plant so that you can, it smells nice and you can make teas or utilize it for potpourri or whatever you'd like to do. Okay. Um, this guy right here is called a French verbena, verbena bonacineris. And uh, it's just a nice perennial. These guys are all perennials. And then of course I threw in some food for the moths, that right. nice moonflower bush. So that's called a moonflower bush. That I is always a moonflower bush. Yes, it's actually a weed, but we grow it as an ornamental. I love mountain mint. Uh, it's a wild mint. Uh -huh. So it actually grows native here in Tennessee and it's just a major pollinator attractor. So Everything. those are all great ideas for mm -hmm. if you want to just bring these beautiful, beautiful butterflies, my favorite insect, mm -hmm. to your yard. They're going to help your plants. They're going to give you lots of beauty to look at. Um, your article for this month is on butterflies. It is. Uh, we kind of, kind of timed it right because, well, butterflies are out right now, and we are. I've gotten a few calls actually asking where the butterflies are. Oh. So. They seem to have been a little slower to pop out this year. I think probably because of the cold weather we had, but they're here. Okay. It is in the online homepage. The online homepage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amy Dist Meeks with UTTSU's Extension Service. You'll find her all of her blogs and yeah. lots of great information there. And we'll make sure we put that at newschannel5.com. And don't forget, we have a butterfly house at the Williamson County Fair this year. Oh. So if you want to see some butterflies, come on out. Sounds good. I'll be there. Sounds good. <laughs>